Last week, I had a lot of fun trying to recreate two leaves. So this week, I thought I'd try to recreate another photo, one that's just a little different. Vanity Fair and the Annenberg Space for Photography are doing a collaboration where they are challenging people to recreate Vanity Fair covers from long ago. So I'm going to try to recreate a cover from November 2016 of Benedict Cumberbatch and see if I can make myself look as good as he does. I don't think I will. But uh, welcome to Grant Takes Pictures. I'm Grant and I take pictures. So here on the screen behind me is the cover photo that I'm going to try to recreate of Benedict Cumberbatch. And the first thing we need to do is start looking at the photo and deconstructing it a little bit. So let's uh, turn around here and take a look at this photo in a little bit more detail. So the basic photo is Benedict Cumberbatch in this light blue shirt in front of a blue chalkboard wall with dark blue pants on. I actually was able to find a picture of this photo without all of the text. So there's the photo itself, a little bit cleaned up and easier to see what's going on. Now, the most important part of this photo is getting the lighting right. And the amazing part about this photo, it is clear enough that if we zoom in, we can just see a little bit of what's going on with the lights. There is a softbox on this side of him that is producing most of the light. And then there's another uh, smaller softbox on this side of him that's uh, creating the fill light. And the lighting is actually pretty even across uh, the entire image, but there is a little bit more light on this side than this side. So that's where we're going to start and trying to recreate this. We're gonna, I'm gonna use two lights on uh, the right side of me and one light on the left side and see if we can recreate that same lighting. But before we set up that lighting, we need to make a few changes. You see behind me, I have a green wall. This is actually chalkboard paint. So I am going to use this wall as a chalkboard. I have some of my kids' larger uh, sidewalk chalk that I'm going to use to dirty up this wall a little bit, erase it away, and give a little bit of texture to the wall that way. I am wearing a green shirt uh, to match the green wall. I know that this picture of Benedict Cumberbatch is a blue wall and a blue shirt. I don't have a blue wall, I don't have a blue shirt. I have a green wall and a green shirt, and you can't see them, but I have green pants on too. So um, we're changing the hues of this just slightly. And unfortunately, I don't have a plain green shirt. Um, I, so I'm going with this Zion National Park shirt uh, that I'm quite fond of. That's what we're going to go with here. And let's get ourselves set up and see what we can do. All right, so here we are. I have moved my desk out of the way so I can be right up against the uh, wall here. I have my chalk. And we're just going to chalk up the background a little bit and then erase it just to give the wall a little bit of texture. Now, if you look back at the photo, um, you can see that there's a little bit of chalk, uh, more chalk under his arm that is raised up. Right over here, just going to mark right about here, put a good deal of chalk right here. So that's going to be under my arm and uh, you know everywhere else is going to get a fairly even amount of chalk. So let's go and do that right now. All right, we got some writing up here. Let's now erase it. All right, so we've chalked in the wall and uh, let's get the camera set up.
All right, so we have the camera set up here. Um, I will be shooting tethered to the computer so I can see what I'm doing. Um, the lights right now are a little bit too far away. I'm gonna bring them closer. Um, hopefully they don't get in the way of the camera here, but uh, I think we're getting close to what we need. All right, so let's see if we can get a Benedict Cumberbatch picture from a Jack Black body. I have my computer uh, right over here so I can see what I am shooting. I have my mouse so I can click on the button to trigger the, uh, the shutter. I have my camera set to a 10 second uh, delay. So I will just trigger it. And then I have 10 seconds to get myself into position. That first one, not the best. Looking at this, I don't think my camera is in quite the right spot. I think I need to raise it up a little bit and tilt it down. Uh, I'm getting I'm getting too much of a double chin, honestly. So I need to be looking up a little bit more um, to get this photo the way I want it. So let's make that change and see what we can get. Uh, see if it's any better in the next photo. So I got something I think I can work with. The biggest problem is I'm not nearly as attractive as Benedict Cumberbatch. So um, let's get my office set back up, get these onto the computer and into Lightroom and see what we can do with them. All right, so I decided not to move my desk back into place in case I need some more pictures. But um, this is good enough to be able to work and get these images imported. So let's import them now and um, see what we have. All right, as these are importing, the first thing I notice right away is that I could be much more zoomed in. Um, I was trying to make sure I had plenty of negative space around the edges for all of the words that go on the cover of a magazine, but it looks to me like I was overdoing it a bit. Although here at the end, I did zoom in So we're going to start with this last photo. Mm. So I added some more chalk and I don't like the way it turned out. Um, I wish I had erased it a little bit more. Yeah, it looks better in those ones. I just don't know how they did that. Maybe that's just a lot of chalk built up over a long period of time. Um, but if you if you flip back and forth between these two photos, they have some similarities. That's about all I'll say for them. So let's uh, go to the develop module. I think this is the one I like the most. It's the last one I took. I will guarantee we are going to push this into, um, into Photoshop. But for now, let's, let's just make sure it looks like I'm standing up straight. All right, so now that we've made some minor edits in uh, Lightroom, we're gonna take this into Photoshop and see what else we can kind of remove and fix up just a little bit. So in Photoshop, really what I wanna focus on is my face more than anything. So I'm gonna go here to the Spot Healing Brush Tool. You know, there's enough grain in this image. There's not a lot I need to pull out. I actually shot this at a fairly high ISO. Let's change my brush size here, get it a little smaller. We can just clone out some of these spots. All right, um, I think we are just about done in Photoshop. I just want to do those little cleanup items. And I think we have a finished photo. Yeah, let's give that one a star. Let's come back here, give that a star so we can view them side by side. So there we are, we have them side by side. 
I would guess that Mr. Cumberbatch here has been um, extensively more photoshopped than I have. You know, this arm just doesn't look natural. It looks completely airbrushed. Um, I did not want to take all those details away. Instead, I just overexposed it. So there we have it. Similar-ish photos. Not exactly the same. I don't know if I'm happy with it or not. Um, if uh, I was able to get a similar enough photo. The background, uh, my background has texture on My wall has texture on it. It is not as smooth as a chalkboard would be. So um, that is one big difference. I also don't have the same lights they used. I'm still using these Home Depot shop lights. Um, I don't have a big uh, strip light box like they use to illuminate uh, Benedict Cumberbatch here, but I may do with what I had. My light is a little bit harsh. I would have liked to have had a little bit more diffusion, but with what I have at home, I did it the best I could. Um, this was still fun, even if I am not over the moon with this photo, but I, I learned something. I enjoyed thinking through this process. I hope you enjoyed uh, seeing me do this as well. But for now, that's what we have. If you like this video, hit that like button. I try to bring you new videos every Tuesdays and Fridays. Fridays are generally editing and computer related videos. If you wanna see more of this, hit that subscribe button and we will see you again next time. Until then, have a great day.